hello squaddies how are you doing welcome back to our youtube channel my name is doreen and yeah today i decided to take a walk in the streets of twitter you know to see what are you guys saying about harry and megan what are you guys saying about endgame you know um since the la uh, the date was released you know because all i do here is just dish out my comments you know what what do what i think yeah so today i wanna you know see your opinions and yeah um so buckle up and come along for the ride um or the walk yeah come along for the walk um the first tweet is from Havendale girl um it says my goodness the rf via the british media is trying so hard to make harry and especially megan become the story instead of addressing the issues raised in endgame to watch this astonishing attempt of deflection um deflection deflection is something to behold and wow i think i'm just i'm just so relieved that i'm not the only one who thinks this because i believe i've said it somewhere that yes this these guys are literally trying to you know deflect our focus on the fact that there are very real issues raised about the monarchy you know real issues raised about the royal family in endgame you know that they don't want us to focus on so they want us to you know focus on harry and megan and you know they try to do that by making harry and megan look bad like they are the bad guys but you know what our eyes are open you know we can see what you're trying to do and you know what yeah for the work people it's it's not working it's not working um um the second one um here you have the publishers for one of uk's top newspapers saying that members of the royal family leaked stuff on harry to the press if they can do that to their blood relative oh i love this what the f do you think they did to megan oh my god yes yes if if they could do that if they could leak information about harry you know you know give personal stories about him what do you think that they didn't do the same thing when it came to endgame you know who how assured are you that omid didn't source you know the let's quote unquote um the dirty little secrets from the same people you know and you know um um that tweet is from zozole one and they have even given us um you know a uh, a screenshot of you know of that publi of that you know paper um we can read it prince harry stories came from members of the royal family um daily mirror publishers claim in quotes prince harry himself has previously spoken about leaks from within the farm commenting in his book spare that members of the royal family briefed the press the publisher of the daily mirror has claimed members of the royal family were responsible for the revelations about prince harry appearing in the press the legal document seen by um, yahoo news states many came from information disclosed by or on behalf of the royal households or members of the royal family oh yes see and i'm like yeah what makes you think they did do the same thing you know on behalf of the royal family yeah and i think this is for everyone who is saying that it's harry and megan who leaked you know the information about the royal family and at first i was like how do they even have access to that they are no longer part of that you know so yeah that was even a very very you know vague opinion because yeah um um continuing um there's another tweet here by mojel um it says megan markle um 
uh, they have quoted it's from January 2017. Meghan Markle could also be a threat to Kate due to her philanthropic efforts. If Harry succeeds in marrying Miss Markle, her philanthropic activities could provide with serious could provide Kate with um, serious competition. No wonder Kate was called and unwelcoming from the start and it's not just Kate I think even um, Prince William was so unwelcoming perhaps he looked at Meghan and so this is a competition for my wife and yeah Muriel has given us um, a quote here of you know of of of, of a publishment it says um, if Harry succeeds in marrying Miss Markle, her philanthropic activities could provide Kate with serious competition. The yoga-loving actress, um, Atlasha e. Megan, is an ambassador for Canadian charity World Vision and has said, while my life shifts from refugee camps to red carpets, I choose them both because these worlds can in fact coexist. This type of work is what feeds my soul and fuels my purpose. On the other hand, if Harry and his American lover don't marry and he has to spend more years trying to find a bride, there will be even greater pressure on the Cambridges to satisfy um, public expectations. See, um, see, like the truth is just coming out slowly by slowly because this is who Meghan was for sure, for sure, you know, and I think people um, or people in the royal family didn't like her because she was being her true authentic self and they wanted, I believe they wanted um, a wife for Harry who was silent, who, you know, who didn't know herself and stuff, who was there to be led, but Meghan couldn't do that because she had already established who she was and what was really important to her and she wanted um, to continue doing that even as the wife to Harry. Yay! Continuing. Um... um the name of Omid's book is Endgame. Not Archie's complexion concerns remove Harry and Meghan. The monarchy is outdated, clueless, and imploding. What is their endgame? Tiara and Pomp dinners aren't every day. <laughs> and do zero for the people in uk they are doomed i love the part where um this is this tweet is by miss g and i love this part where she says the name of omid's book is endgame not archie's complexion concerns not harry and megan so remove harry and megan from this whole drama and as far as we are concerned harry and megan already removed themselves it's about the monarchy it's about the future of the monarchy it's about what the monarchy is doing for its people and whether it does have a future you know in the future of the people of uk so yes that's what the book is about yeah so stop <laughs> the people that are trying um to confuse people out here stop 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 okay this there's another one here um it's it's from Tarine Valentin, she says, there's no proof that there was a conversation about Archie's skin color, but Harry was caught in multiple racist incidents. And Game tackles the topic of racism without talking about Harry's racist behavior. Omid's Kobe, um, uh, Harry and Meghan will pay for this unfair smearing campaign okay and I'm just gonna say this um, in the Harry and Meghan series um, Harry talked about you know the person he was before the fact that sometimes he made comments you know that were utterly racist so he accepted that but he said that you know interacting with Meghan allowed him to change allowed him to transform from that person to a person who is conscious of the people around them that's the first part the second part you wanted the book to talk about Harry again this book is not about Harry this book is about the monarchy and the future of the monarchy and the mentioning of Archie's 
skin color i believe it's a very very small parts in it and what it wanted to bring out was the fact that there is still unconscious bias in the public and that they should change that you know continuing harry releases spare they blame megan Omid releases Endgame, they blame Megan. The royal family want Megan out of Harry's life so he can live in misery like Margaret. Real life monsters. Every day, they show us why Harry and Megan were right to leave that hell hole. Oh, hashtag Sussex Squad. Um, that tweet is um, from um, Sussex Squad underscore underscore. And I'm like, yeah. A hundred percent. Every time something happens, who is the first person to blame? Megan. And every time it happens, especially when they're out here, I'm like, hold up. What if Harry and Megan decided to stay? You know the number of complaints and you know blames that Megan could be carrying on her shoulders? Millions and millions and millions. So yes, every day they prove to us that harry and megan literally made the right decision you know to exit the royal family yeah i'm um, continuing uh this is from sussex squad underscore underscore again the hashtag toxic british media brought everything on themselves and made a mockery let that ship sink Try to attach Harry and Meghan to old mid's Kobe and game just to talk about them but exposed that family in the process. I am not mad at all. Woo, true, 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 true. They tried to attach, you know, Endgame. <laughs> they tried to do that, to attach Endgame to Harry and Meghan, saying this is their project. You know, they're trying to bring us down. Then, you know, things happen. You know, the universe usually has just its own plan. Out of nowhere, boom. <laughs> the two quote-unquote racist royals are, ex you know, are exposed. And, yeah, people start questioning themselves. And even when that um, happened, they are trying to divert their attention. But we already know, you know, we already know what is going on. So, yeah, these people literally, um, <laughs> you know it's like a snake biting its own tail that's what literally happened to them um um they are not talking about any of this which is in endgame they don't want you to know how rotten they are so instead they focus on attacking megan harry and omid Ooh, and there's some there's some leech there's some um attached photos there yeah ooh, i'm telling you there's literally some some juice <laughs> some tea you know inside that book some tea that they don't want us to see and um, there's a quote here prince charles and camilla hire daily mail executive for top post you know they're here posing with um the duchess of cornwall opens the daily mail shark valley history festival you know the fact that you know the farm you know has relation the direct relationship you know the famous tabloids you know in the uk that same tabloids that used to have gossips about harry and megan trying to bring megan down yeah that, that's the kind of information they want to hide from us you know the fact that they pay the media to you know keep them relevant to keep hashtag royal le relevant you know that's the kind of stories that they don't want us to see and the final tweet i'm gonna read from from mickey it says what i will say is this don't let the british media twist the analysis of some members of the rf into a debate about megan or harry or double s reject all attempts to do so their outrage is um artif artif artifice don't take the bait and that's very true that's very very true because literally even way before endgame came out there were posts every day you know about harry and megan you know related to endgame there were stories and posts every day therefore um just 
overwhelming the public with this notion about Harry and Meghan and Endgame. But honestly, there are many, many more stories inside there. Actually, many stories that are inside there that are not related to Harry and Meghan. That book is not about Harry and Meghan. That book is about the monarchy and its future. And you know, the British media trying to divert our attention from that, you know, into, you know, from what is happening, what is actually happening in the monarchy to, you know, Harry and Meghan, is them trying to, you know, um, save themselves, you know, save a sinking boat. So, you know, be woke, open your eyes and look at the right information. Anyway, it was so fun reading um, some of your opinions. And until the next episode, bye-bye.